Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can get the rerouter in Borderlands 3. If you have an idea of what weapon or item that you would like to see up next, let me know in the comments, and let's jump to it. The rerouter can be directly farmed for by targeting Princess Tarantella II who you can find by traveling to the Splinterlands and heading to this area of the map. To get here quick you want to travel to the chop shop fast travel point, spawn a vehicle and drive under the rocks to where she is. If she is to spawn she would have done so by the time you pass the dead tree. After you've finished your first attempt, successful or not, consider grabbing this spawn point. It is closer and will help speed up your runs. Princess Tarantella is a rare spawn enemy unfortunately which means she won't emerge from the ground each time and will make farming runs longer than they otherwise would be. Although she spawned about 1 in 4 times for me, you can guarantee she will spawn for the one time by visiting this wall in Sanctuary and grabbing her kill quest. Quests that appear here are random and you can get a new one by completing an already existing one. Princess Tarantella is quite difficult to kill on the higher mayhem levels and she is also pretty powerful. She will get distracted by the cars that spawn though and you can use that to your advantage. An incendiary weapon is also best to kill her with. I received the rerouter on my 12th kill which was pretty standard for a respawn enemy but I also managed to get the Roizen's thorns in that time frame as well as a well drop which makes for good drop rates in my experience. I was farming on true vault hunter mode without any mayhem levels and I suggest you do the same if you're not after an anointed rerouter. That's because raising your mayhem levels won't increase your chances of getting dedicated drops like the rerouter, just world drops. Princess will also be harder to kill which means it'll take you longer to get one. But what about the rerouter? Is it a good shield? How does it feel to chew 5 gum? Well, the rerouter is an amp shield that when full will drain half of your shields to deal 120% bonus damage and restore the damage done as health. It is the closest you'll get to Borderlands 2's B shield and serves a small functional likeness although its effects only last for the one shot. Speaking of its effects, here I am in Sanctuary testing the damage bonus of the shield. You'll notice it deals bonus damage when fully charged and this damage bonus is indicated both by the sound when the shield fills up and by the glowing of the barrel. However, the damage bonus is only applied to the single pellet making it less effective on most shotguns and more suitable to single pellet weapons that deal high damage. That's why in the gameplay you will see me using it with an ion cannon on Mayhem 4. You'll notice extreme damage numbers when I fire with a full shield and this combination is extremely deadly. You can make the shield more effective with skills that reduce shield recharge delay and increase its recharge rate. Other than that though there's not much difference in the variants other than getting one with elemental resistance. Overall the rerouter is a great shield for dealing extra damage when you want to and also returns that damage as health if you need it. It's probably not an everyday shield but it's perfect for one shotting that boss and upping your damage output. So that's all for this video. Let me know down in the comments what weapon or item you'd like to see next. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next one.